Hi, good day everybody. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a nice time. Today we'll be looking at making a dress, a flare dress. Um, and this is the style I want to do. You can see this is the neck. The neck is not too wide and this is the dart here. It's a straight dart. And this is the flare. Now basically the design I have here is a flare dress, like a three-quarter dress. And that has this lacy design at the bottom. So it's just a joining of this lace to this fabric. This is the Ankara here. This is the Ankara. And this is the lace. So I'm just trying to illustrate the style. This lace here is not going to have any lining. It's just going to be a joining of the of the lace to the Ankara flare. Now if you notice on that thing about this dress, you can see that this is the dart here. Just a sketch I made myself. This is the dart. And the lower part does not have flare. Does not have flare at the lower part. And when we're doing our peplum blouse, the other time we'll talk about how to remove that from the waist. So I'm just going to do this now. So first of all, this is this is my pattern. This is my block. So if you want to know how to do this, you can check my previous video on how to make a bodice. So I'm going to remove the dart here because what I have here, you can see the waist. This is the down part and this is the upper part. If it's at this at the side here, both of them are the same. The lines continue like this, which is not supposed to because there's no dart at the down here. So this dart that is here, this one I have which I add here, I'm going to remove it at the hip side here. So this is the one I have. I mark it. I'm going to join it to the hip here. Now this is the dart I have removed. Now that means there's no more darts. You can see now, now because I'm using the barrel, you can see that both lines are not going to meet at the same place. The same thing at the back. If you have that at the back here, you do the same thing. But my dress here, there's no that at the back. So I'm going to close. This is my shoulder that. I'm going to close it now. So you can't close the shoulder that. I cut to this boss point here. Then I cut from the waist. Yeah, you can see for that the join is at the waist. Then I cut along the dart line here like this to the boss point. I won't cut it through. Then I was if we have a cello tip, you can bring it together like close both line so that lines won't be there again. So now I'm going to check for my shoulder. I'm just reviewing this going back. For those that my a shoulder is 14 and a half, so I'm going to check 14 and a half. This is 14 and a half here, and the chest line. You can go to my video to see how to get the chest line. To my previous video, I mean. So I'm going to shape the armhole. I just did this just for refreshing and memory. That is the armhole. Then I'll join this to the neck here. Remember, I've closed this line here. Because there's no cello tape within my reach, that's why. I... So this is the shoulder, this is the waist, and this is the neck at the back here. I'm just going to join it. Now I'm going to make my style. You can see that at the upper part here, there are two sets of neck. There is a high neck and there is a low neck. So if I'm going to get this neck, I have to get the break point for this one. So I think a break point, I'm going to use seven. I'm going to measure from this side, slants like this. She doesn't like load neck, so I'm going to use, use seven and a half. You can see, you can see this neck. Now when I'm going to do this neck, I've done this video before, but I just want to refresh. You can see there are three points here. One, this is the center of the dress. This is the center. Of the dress i take note of this point one this is the dart here this way the dart gets to two and this is the, at the arm here three i make sure now if what i do is i look at from here this point at this point which is higher i try and take note if you can see they are almost at the same level here now if you check it with the one at the ammo from here to here, which one is higher if you look at it you realize that the one at the ammo is lower than the one at the dart line here. So with that, with that mindset, now you can create this neck. Now, this point here, 
is the break point is the break point here like this now this is our dart line yeah this straight one this is our dart line so from this diagram now we can we concluded that this point and this point they are the same level so that means if this is here now it's going to be at the same level here like this you can see and at the last one here at the ammo we can see it's slower than the one on the dart so if this is here that means it's going to be somewhere here so i could just join these three lines now and i have the shape of my neck like this remember we have a shoulder we, we removed in this pattern we have the shoulder that so we should be very mindful of that so the other neck is this one so like i said this is our shoulder i'm going to get the measurement from here to here i'm going to use three inches from here to here and i'm going to have the break point of this neck i'm going to use five or let me use five she wants it a bit low so from the ammo to this side i'm using three inches and a break point here i'm using five so i'm just going to join this neck like this join this neck like this now that is that now if you look at this neck very well now you can see this neck here is higher why this is lower lower i mean now when we are using shoulder whenever i do a body that has shoulder that this neck here if i leave it like this if she wears it if she wears it like this it won't this part here this that it won't be relaxed on her chest because there's a shoulder that that i removed here so whenever i have a shoulder that that means when i use shoulder that on my clothes that means i want to concentrate on the bust area i want her bust area to be pronounced now so what i do is this lower neck here this lower neck i remove one inch if the lower neck if, if once i'm dealing with two neck uh, style the lower one i remove one inch and the up the higher one i remove half inch but now so i'm going to remove one inch here like this i'm going to remove one inch here like this and i'll drain it to the boss point here like this mm -hmm. See, I've created the dart now. I've created the dart. Now, remember I said, if I remove one inch here, the higher neck, I'm going to remove half inch. But now, the constraint I have on this is, the neck is very high, almost getting to a normal neck. So, I can't remove half inch here. If I do, it will be very tight. The only point I can remove high, uh, half inch is, let's assume the second neck is very low like this now. Then, I can remove half inch here. But this... It's a very high neck, so I can't remove half inch here. What and this that here I made, you know, I join it to the down here. As far as I join it to the down, I'm supposed to still take it up here, like this. That that means if I was taking half inch out here before, that means if I join this to the down, I have to join this up here also. But because this neck is very high, I can't do that. So what I simply do is I will bring both lines to meet. Just where this neck shape stops here. So I can't remove half inch there. I think I've done this before in my previous video. So I'm going to check the dart length whether both of them are equal. And from here to here is 3.6. I'm going to check here also. So that means my lines are equal. So I have to close this dart. Now, this dart that is here, I don't need it. I'll cut it out like this. Get to this point, so I cut this out also. You can see, so all I have to do is I check first whether both lines are equal. You can see from this boss point to this point, both lines are equal, and I'll check from here to here. So I'm going to salute tape it now, like this. This dart up here because if you, if you look at this now, there's no dart up here, so that means there can't be darts. So, this is the upper neck, which is this one. So, this is the arm. One. So we have the neck now. So, the at the back neck also is almost the same thing. Almost the same thing. I didn't sketch it out, but it's the same thing like that. So, I look for the measurement from here to here. Make sure it's at the back here. 
I use three. So I'm just gonna make the, the neck a bit low to this point. She doesn't like it very low back. So like this. Then I'll bring the other neck is gonna start somewhere like this. Now, like I said, because the back, the because I use a shoulder that when I was making these bodies, I, you remember I said at the low neck I have to remove one inch, and at the high neck half inch. The neck is a bit low, but for this now at the back now, because of that half inch, it is also disturbing this back. I have to remove half inch here also. So I'm going to assume that this is if I was going to make it that for the for the back, it was supposed to stop here. So I'll just take it up like this. Take it up. So I just remove half inch at this point at the back. I must remove it. If not, it's not going to be balanced. So I'll stop it at the ammo line here. Eh? Is that here? Eh? Remember there is no dart at the back, so I have to close this half inch down like this. I have to close it so that the back can relax very well. See, I've reshaped the neck now, like this, so you can have that balance. So I'm going to add the sewing allowance at the side. I use one and a half for mine, my side. I use one and a half here. Just a reminder, I did not check the ammo. Let me check the ammo now to make sure they are the same. This is 10 one quarter. This is nine and a half. So that means the difference there is half inch. So I have to close this dart here. I have to close this dart. First of all, I make it like a princess dart. Then this is the half inch here. I talked about this previously. So I'm going to close it now. So that both ammo can be the same. I did not cut the one at under needle. So just this one like this. Then I'll solo tip it back. Just so to make the ammo and make the bust area relaxed on the person. So you can see the lines are not equal, so I have to make them equal back like this. And I'll readjust this line like this now. Hmm? So I'll indicate here that this is the lace, this is the Ankara. The Ankara. So I'm going to add the sewing allowance, sewing allowance at the back here, like this. Now me, I use half inch for my zip allowance at the back. So I'll cut it out like this. This is the back and this is the front. We need to keep them together like this. Now this this is the lower part. This is the lower part. It's, like I said, it's a flare dress. It's a flare dress. Now this is what I did. Now if you notice from this diagram I have here, you can see the hip here like this. Now, when I want to make a flare, I don't need this hip. We don't use that hip. Every tailor don't use it. So what I'm simply going to do, I'm going to join. This is the waist here. Yeah? I'm going to join it straight to the down. So it eliminates that hip here yeah, like this. It has eliminated this hip here. Yeah? So I'm going to add my sewn allowance along this line now. So I'm going to join it here like this. So you see, I've eliminated that hip. So the same thing here. I'll join the waist here straight to the down to remove that hip. We are not using that hip. Okay. So, to join it straight down. So my plan I'll just simply cut this out now. This is just a normal A line without the hip. You can't use this your a-line skirt 
for it to be very tight because I've reduced the heat. So we're going to remember I use half inch on my zip allowance. I'm going to use half inch straight down. Yeah. Like this. line now so all I had to do is flare this now this is the lower part this is the upper part it is a flare now when I was talking about flare making peplum I say you can cut as many lines two or one line I'm just going to cut one line now straight to the waist it is a flare straight to the waist but I won't cut it out totally just a little much now when I want to flare it I simply open the lower part like this I hope you can see it just simply open the lower part like this now I'm going to assume because I just want to show you. Now this SS part now, this you, you open it as much as you want. As much as you want. This will make up for the flare at the lower part. So I'm, I'm, I just want to do it on this place so I can sell it and you see how it comes out. Mine is you you know how much you want to flare your how much you want your flare to be like so i'm just going to select this now you can see it's no more a straight dress again it's now free. Can see this is the waist. Can see the waist is small. This is the waist here, and this is the flare, the lower part. Here. You can see it very well now. So that is how you do your flare. This is the upper part now. This is the upper part here, like this. And this is the lacy part, which is supposed to be for the the yoke up. And this is the bust area and this is the flare so this is the back you can see the waist is small and this is the lower part you can see I flare the fabric now now remember for based on this our style we said that the lower part is going to be this lace cut so what I'm using for the for the for this lace, this is my lace I'm using. This is the lace I'm using. You can see the design. You can see the design and the lace. And so this I'm going to make use of this portion here. So I'm just going to measure it out. So I know what I have there. I have I'm going to use 10 from here to here. So I'm going to move that 10 inches from this pattern now. So I'm going to measure from the lower part here to this point 10 inches 10 inches like this this is the this is the beauty of pattern drafting you can make whatever mistake you want to make on this paper so i just simply join this line together so by the time i separate it now you can see this is this is going to be for the plain the normal fabric the ankara and this is this I'm going to cut on the lace and on the fabric. So I just have it look like after cutting. That is the net up. This is the boss here. And this is the flare. This is the lace at the end. So I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like after sewing. Thank you.